Hello everyone, welcome back to Humble Acres. So it is winter time now and we are going to be starting on our winter projects. The first project we are going to work on is making a shelf for my office. Uh, I've, I've had some really cheap shelves out there before that are kind of like this one. They're just kind of rickety and kind of bad looking, let's say. So my theory is I bought a bunch of angle iron down here and some uh, square tube and I have these old barn beams that were laying in my hen house. My idea is I'm going to build the frame out of metal and then the actual shelf surfaces are going to be made out of the barn beams. I was originally going to make a dining room table out of these, but then we decided to go buy one because we found a really good one and it was on sale and we couldn't resist, so we bought it. So now we're going to make shelving out of this. So it's kind of difficult to figure out exactly how to cut these into slabs and stuff or boards. So, yeah, because they have these notches out of them where, you know, the other pieces were or the other boards slipped in there. And then the ends are kind of rough, like on this one, and this one's all split out on the end. They have some big cracks down the middle, so... Yeah, it's just going to be interesting to see how this works. I don't think we're going to be able to get nice long uh, pieces and just put them in there. I think we're going to have to kind of piece it all together, which is fine. It, I'm really not worried about it, and it's going to look good no matter what I do, because these are, yeah. I'm pretty sure these are all Douglas fir. I don't think they're oak beams or anything. Well, this is kind of annoying. It's somewhat of a nightmare. I was hoping using the circular saw and cutting a two and a half inch groove on each side, the reciprocating saw would be able to use those as a guide and just cut the center out. But it doesn't seem to want to do that. It wants to wander everywhere and you can see that it just like starts gouging into the side and it's just, it's a nightmare. Not really sure what to do about that because I don't have a saw that can cut deeper. Yeah, I suppose I'll be back when I figure something else out. All right, I was thinking about it a little bit over lunch and I realized that I actually have some boards in here that were originally the floor. And I ripped them up and I laid them over there or they weren't originally the floor, they were originally the joists going across. So there's actually a bunch of them sitting here. And there's more of them somewhere else as well. But these ones are pretty much exactly what I'm looking for anyway. And I won't really have to rip them down then any smaller. And I can save those big beams like that one. Nice big beam there. So, I have more of these somewhere. I don't actually remember what I used all of these for, honestly. I might have actually put them somewhere else, because these are actually all the short ones. There's some, because they ran from here over to there, I think, or no, they ran that way. Yeah, so most of them are that length, which I have no idea how long that is. I don't know, it actually probably looks close to 16 foot, so... These are just a bunch of the little shorter ones here that weren't quite as good. So I'm going to find out. I think I might have put those over in the corn crib. So let's head over there and see if we can find those. Because if I can get those, then I'm just going to use those. Because they're pretty much the right size. And they're actually wider too. So I won't need as many of them to get the width I want. So, so it looks like I put a bunch of them right here. And these have also... Um, kind of been covered up with some dirt, I believe. Yeah, there's been some animals digging in here. 
So we have a couple here that are pretty long. Um, there's a couple up there. And then there's maybe more back there. I don't know. There's a bunch of them though. I'm pretty sure there are more somewhere. I have no idea what I used them for though. What did I do with those? Those are, it's probably in some other video. Maybe I should go back and look at some of the videos, but I honestly have no idea what I used them on. I don't think I used them on the garage at all. What did I do with them? All right, well, I remembered where I used them. They were used in a video that I never actually published. And I don't know if I ever will. So, um, yeah, I actually ripped them in half because they were pretty wide and I made two by fours out of them. So, yeah. Um, most of them are gone. I think I have like three or four maybe still over there. So, ideally, I would uh, rip up some more, but that's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm sure there's another video of me doing that, but it's cold now, which is probably good because you don't get so hot, but this barn is also really scary to work in because there's not a whole lot holding it up, and the one holes that are holding it up or not really holding it up anymore so yeah it's a little sketchy working in here I would rip those two out but they're actually connected to that pole and I didn't really want to remove them because I figured that would make it even more unstable this metal here that actually used to be a wall and you can see it laying on its side there's an auger in there he actually used this corner as a uh, grain bin. He put he stored a bunch of corn in here. So that's pretty cool. All right, so this is the wood I was able to get. There were two long ones that were in the corn crib there that I showed you. There was the one more that I found in the barn that's not really good most of the way. Well, like a third of the way is bad, so I'll have to cut that off. And then we have these four like shorter like eight foot long ones here so i feel like this is probably only enough wood for one of the shelves so not quite sure what i'm going to do for the other ones all right so i decided that i'm going to try to peel up some of these boards again and get some more of these uh, beams out of here so i gotta move all this hay because this is kind of the best spot i guess to work um i'm hoping i don't make this fall because if that falls then the whole roof's probably going to cave in so that only worries me a little bit <laughs> i'm gonna just try to not die so let's uh start moving this hay at least and see what we can do These aren't even attached. <laughs> All of the weight is on this one little pole that is bent. You can see the beam up there is really bent too. But yeah, and look at this. That's all it's sitting on. 
I cut this out because I was afraid if I uh, cut it right here that this board would just fall over and the whole thing would come crashing down. So it does seem like it's attached down here. I did the same here. I left this board to hold them together, although there's only like two nails in it. So that's good. It is also held together down there with a splice. But holy cow, what a mess. But we got quite a few more boards, so we should have plenty for my shelf now. So I'm gonna grab all these out of here and then we'll explore all of this mess and this nice, beautiful pink toilet. All right, I got all the boards out of here finally. That one I'm leaving because every single nail I tried to pull out of it just snapped off. So I think the wood's pretty bad. And on this side, it's very uh, rotted. So I just left that one. But yeah, there's a bunch of, there's like an old garage door here. There's so many windows and broken glass as well. And then we got some soffit over here. Some more metal. I found an old license plate from 1986. That's pretty cool. I'm going to keep that. I actually have a pretty big collection of license plates. So, um, yeah, I want to see what was in this dresser. Hello, everyone. It's been about a week since that last clip, and my battery just died at the worst timing of course but well you know there's nothing in those drawers they're completely empty so just garbage all right so i'm back in the garage i got all the boards here we have more than plenty to actually be able to finish this project this should go a lot better um there's still nails in some of them because i was unable to get a lot of them out but i did get most of them out but some of them just like broke off and stuff so that's something we're gonna have to deal with later but what i want to do today is try to get the whole frame and everything welded together so i have somewhat of a plan so this is kind of the plans here you can kind of see some of the dimensions i got i just got rid of that portion so we're only going to have four of the legs on here now and the legs look like this from a side view. This is the front of the shelf. So that's kind of what we're going for here. I'm going to start by making all four of the legs and then we'll go from there. So we're probably just going to do time lapse on a lot of the actual fabrication and welding stuff because it takes a while and I want to try to show kind of everything. So let's get to it. So I got all of the legs done here. I got the welds all ground down and everything. So everything's looking real nice. They're all straight, hopefully. <laughs> they seem to be anyway. So now 
I need to get them spaced apart where they need to go and then I'm going to get the angle iron put on the top. So yeah, I'm not quite sure how to do this and keep everything lined up right, but hopefully we can get it done. So let's get to it. Give you a little update here you can kind of see i'm just running around but i got these two top ones welded on as you can see that's kind of going to be the support for the top wood portion and then the second one down here is going to be the support for the actual shelf itself and then there's going to be nothing underneath that so it's pretty much all i need to do is get these welded all the way around and then i need to make some for the other side as well that's what i'm going to work on next and then I need to get some for the ends here as well. And then that's pretty much it. I'll just need to weld it all up and grind the welds down, make it look decent. And then um, I'll probably start figuring out the wood. Alrighty, hope you are loving the time lapses because I'm sure there's a lot of it. Um, it's just, there's not much to say when I'm building stuff, so I just figured the time lapses, you can kind of see what I'm doing, but it just, it's taken days to do this and it's just probably boring if I try to explain everything I'm doing. So, the frame should be done. I grinded all the welds that I need to grind and yeah should be done welding hopefully i'm thinking i might actually um, weld some tabs on here to screw into the bottom of the boards but i'm not going to do that quite yet i'm going to see how the boards go get them all on there where i want and then we'll deal with that um i need to make i'm going to try to find the best ones so i have nine that are 16 feet long and i only need six so um, oh wait that one's shorter too so i have eight so I have two extras. There's actually another one that's broke. So I probably only have one extra. I probably have the exact amount I need. But anyway, <laughs> we need to find the ones that are decent. And so this is 14 feet long and these are 16 feet long. So I should be able to cut a foot off of each end because the ends are not in great shape as you can see. So should be able to cut up to a foot off of this if we need to. So. We'll have to pull each one down and see how it looks, but the other problem too is like this one here 
you can probably tell maybe, maybe not, but it's warped. So not quite sure what we're gonna do about that because this is straight. So having them warped is not gonna be fun. And I don't have a table saw to like rip them, which I don't think that would even work anyway. So yeah, I'm not a woodworker. So I'm gonna do time lapse of this as well because I have no idea what I'm doing. So I don't even know what to explain, but I'll explain what I did after I figure out what I'm gonna do. Alright, so I found seven boards that are full length and somewhat usable. The rest of them have like big pieces that are broken off of them so they're not going to actually go the full length. These will go the full length. I kind of graded them, so starting on this side, these are the best. Actually, that's the best one up there. And then this one's pretty good and then it, they just tend to get worse. Um, this one has a bunch of metal in it and it's really warped and then these are slightly warped with some metal These ones aren't warped as bad But have some metal and then this one's pretty much straight without any metal and this one's perfectly straight and has no metal in it, so That's kind of how I'm going I want to put the nicest ones on the top and then the shelf is going to use whatever's left basically but it's going to take about two and a half of these to actually do the whole width. I was originally going to make this two feet wide, 24 inches, but I decided I don't really need it that wide. I was just kind of copying the shelves that I already had there. So I decided to go narrower because these, for one, are pretty much about eight inches, kind of. Some of them are narrower and some of them are wider because they're old and they're not perfect. So I decided to go a little narrower so I could cut them to be no seams. Um, I'm not gonna like glue these together and make them a solid slab. I, I don't have the tools to do that for one and I don't really need them to be that nice, honestly. I am gonna sand them down and finish them so they look somewhat presentable, but I'm not going to just make them a solid slab. They'll be individual boards, but I need to get them all fitted in here first and then I'll sand them down after that. So I think this side's cool. gonna be the front to the whole thing. And then I put the top of the board that doesn't have any nail holes in it towards this side. So that should be the finished edge there. So I have plenty of room on this one to cut the ends off. This side's the only side that's actually bad. It's rotted on the end, but that's pretty normal for these. So we're going to cut these down to length here on both ends and that one will be good. So I just need to find two more, which I was thinking the warped ones would be really good to put right in the middle because I can, once I get the two outside ones on, I can lay the other one right in the middle and then just trace it on the bottom. And then I can just cut along those lines and then I won't have to worry about how warped it is. Although I will have to worry about metal, but we'll get to that when we get there, I guess. <laughs> This is what we have. I got all the boards cut and notched for the bottom ones, but we just need to do the center ones. But it's looking really good. I'm really happy with it. I mean, it's gonna look a whole lot better once these are actually finished and sanded and stuff. But And we need to paint the metal frame as well, but I'm gonna have to weld some tabs on the bottom for the boards to screw, so I can like screw the boards down from the bottom. So, we're going to have to do that still, which shouldn't be too difficult. It's going to take a little while to make all the brackets because I'm going to need quite a few of them. Okay. 
Alright, I'm not sure where we left off, but I started cleaning this, but then I ran out of acetone, so I went and got some more of that right there. So I need to finish wiping this all down, and then we are going to paint it. So I'm just going to use this Rust-Oleum enamel brush-on paint that I used on my trailer. It should look nice, and should be fine. So I'm going to finish wiping this down and get it painted. got this all painted it is looking pretty nice and shiny it's actually the next day now and it's all dry I kept it nice and warm in the garage so it could dry good but yeah this is looking great so what I'm planning on doing is I need to finish these boards because they're kind of warped so in order to be able to um, figure out what the center board needs to be on these I need to get these on here and screwed down so they're nice and flat, but I don't really want to screw them all down and stuff before finishing them because I don't want to like screw them down and then have to unscrew them and do all that. So I'm just going to finish these boards all up, get them um, stained and everything, or I guess I don't know if I'm going to stain them, but I'm going to get them finished however I want. I actually have a test board over here that I need to test some stain on. So. I sanded this down. This is just one of the cuttings off the ends. So I sanded this down. So this is pretty much what the wood looks like. So I'm just going to get some polyurethane and put on some of this and I might try some stain on this as well. But I think I'm just going to straight up clear poly it because I don't know. I think it's going to look really nice just like this. So all right. So I have some of this semi gloss clear poly. Just what I found. So I'm going to try this a little bit on here. Yeah, that's that's going to be real nice. That just really brings out the color in it. I'll put this on nice and thick, but I'm sure this wood's going to absorb it pretty good. But yeah, I don't think I'm going to actually stain this. I think this looks really cool. I really like that. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to do the semi-gloss clear poly and we'll call that good. But I really like how that color comes out of it. I got all four of these all sanded down. These are actually the bottoms. They're not finished quite as good, but we're gonna poly the whole entire things. So we're gonna do the bottoms first and then we'll flip them over and do the tops. Three coats on each of them 
and they should be they're not quite dry yet but should be pretty good I think they'll look nice these are the two for the top shelf and then these are the two for the bottom shelf but they look really good I'm very happy with how they look they uh I didn't sand them a ton like they're still kind of rough but I think that's fine like I also didn't really have enough sandpaper or anything to get them like mirror finish but I really just don't care like I've said before I'm not a carpenter I, I don't do a lot of stuff with wood unless I really have to or I just want something to kind of look nice have a kind of warm feel to it I prefer working with metal but I really like how these came out they have a nice dark tone to them we didn't put any stain on them. these are just poly but I, I just really like how they look so um, once these dry, we're going to put them on the shelf frame over here and get them all screwed down where they're supposed to be. And then we will lay one of these boards on the top and one on the bottom. And then we will trace the center from underneath onto it. And then we'll cut it out because I know it's not going to be perfectly straight because these boards are kind of warped and curved and I don't have a way to straighten them. So that's what we're going to do. That'll make it so it's going to be not a straight cut, but we will be able to make it fit in there really nice. I actually put these on here and screwed them down already. Um, I figured this camera would probably get me a little bit better color. So you can kind of see the finish is rougher, but you can see the saw marks and I kind of like that from the sawmill there. So that's just really cool, and this is really coming out pretty much exactly like I thought it would. So that's nice. The frame is a little dusty, so you gotta have to imagine it being shiny black. But yeah, this came out really nice. So I think now I just need to get these two center boards done, that one there and the one underneath there. And those are right here. So I need to get those uh, laid on here and uh, I need a trace underneath so I know where to cut and then cut those and finish them as well. So that's what we're gonna do now, but I'm very happy with this. This is actually the front on this side. So it's looking really good. I was actually going to show how I fasten these down. So you can see on this side here, I have a screw right there and then a screw there and there. And then in the middle, I have those two holes where the center one's gonna screw down. So I did that on all of them. The bottom is the same way. See all the screw heads, which I think I'm gonna come back with some black paint and paint the heads just so you can't see those, but I really like it. It's solid and it's definitely going to be nice. All right. We just have these two boards left. I got the shelf actually moved back into my office in there. So we're going to get these two boards cut out here. I laid them on top of there already and traced out where I need to cut. So you can kind of see the lines I drew on there, but this one's warped. So the center is actually straight but the board's really warped and that was kind of my goal with this is to be able to get a nice straight board out of an all bent up one. So I'm basically gonna just cut these out real quick and then we'll get sanding them and get them polyed and we'll take them in and put them on the shelf and we will be done finally. This project has taken quite some time. Of course, a lot of other things have been going on in my life. Um, in the past couple weeks here so sorry that there wasn't a video last week um, but there's just been a lot of stuff going on so happy Thanksgiving because I know that's happened already and yeah there's just there's been a lot of stuff going on in my life so we're gonna get this finished up finally and move on to something else <laughs> Well, I only ended up cutting through a few nails. I think I got cut through one there, 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 and there. <laughs> I think the other one I cut through three, and this one I cut through four, it looks like. But 
I mean, it only dulls the blade a little. <laughs> oh well, it cuts right through them though. It doesn't really phase it at all. But hopefully that'll work. I think I'm going to, there's a couple of spots where I kind of bumped out a little bit. I'm gonna go back and just sand those down some and then we'll sand down the faces and go get these put on. They look pretty straight now too. Considering these boards were really warped before, cutting them out like this makes them not warped anymore. <laughs> so, all right, let's get to sanding these and get them finished and get them back on there. All right, these boards are all polyed. They are sealed, they just need to dry now. And then we will get them put on the shelf. So the next clip is going to be these on there. So we will see you when it's done. Well, I got it done. It looks really nice and I'm really happy with it. It came out so good. Yeah, there's little gaps in between the boards, but it just, it really came out nice. I'm really happy with this. This is pretty much exactly what I was hoping for. So this has been my vision for a while and it came out really nice. It just, yeah, it's going to be really nice having this. Looks so much better than the cheap shelves I had before. Well, that's going to do it for this video. It's probably been a lot of time lapse. I'm sorry about that, but this project just took way too long. I think I'm going on week three now of working on this. It's just been a lot of work and a lot of other things as well going on at the same time. So yeah, you guys will probably figure out what else is going on eventually, but for now, probably not. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Next video, we should hopefully be working on the FJ. We will see. There might be one in between there. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.